Welcome to Melbourne's Weird and Wonderful. Today I'll show you how I put a tattoo onto a dark alcohol ink tumbler. I put out at least one new video every week, so please do subscribe and thanks so much for watching. Alright, so I thought I'd try something new again today, which is, I guess, nothing new, me trying something new. <laughs> but um, I wanted to make a tumbler that matched a topper I made a couple weeks ago I found this gorgeous temporary tattoo on Sheen so I did buy a couple of them to try they're quite large but they will fit on the tumbler quite nicely but I want to start with an alcohol ink base on the white tumbler so we're going to start over at the at the turner and I'll show you what I'm going to do. Uh, first off, we want to mix up probably about 20 mils of epoxy because we want it to flow a little. You can mix up some more if you desire more on your tumbler. And we're going to use some alcohol inks as well. So I'm just grabbing a few different um, colors of my alcohol ink, mostly blues watercolors. I did add black in here. I don't know if I'm going to actually use it, but we'll um, bring these over to the turner anyway so we have them available. And then I've got these Let's Resin Interference Powders, which I've used on one other tumbler before. It was a Galaxy tumbler, and they're very, very pretty. I want to see if I've got a, a blue color in here that I can use. There's green. I'm sure there's a blue in here as well. Gold. There's blue. The other colors in here, pink and violet. I think I'll bring the green as well. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to use yet, but if I've got the stuff out there and I decide to use it, then I can use it. Okay, and we're going to go mix up our epoxy, and then I'm going to go over to the turner, and I'll meet you over there. All right, so we're at the turner, and we're just going to coat the whole tumbler with epoxy so usually I don't film this part so I'll just film it for a second and then wait until I uh, actually have all this on here so just smear it on try to keep it fairly even make it even over the whole tumbler and as soon as I have all this on the tumbler I'll be back all right so we are back and I've let this turn for a few minutes so I think it's fairly even and then we're going to start dropping some of the alcohol ink on there. I kind of need to see what color these are. I wanted this to be fairly muted. I want it to look like water, of course, because it's fish. But I want it to be pretty. I don't want it to be too, too over the top. I want it to be very, um, I want the fish to show through on top of it, of course. So I'm going to do these two colors. And we're just going to drop a bit on here. And this is a white tumbler, so I may have some issues with that. But let's see what we get. And I do typically take this off the turner and... Um, Flip it around a little so you get more movement. Or we may just tip the tire. I'm going to add some of this kind of a greenish blue color. Very pretty. I don't want to make this too dark. I want the colors to kind of pop so. may add some white to this as well. Just letting the colors drip. I normally take this off the turner, but I did attach this down the other day. I need to make a little or find a little cotter pin to put in there instead of the screw. It'll make it a little easier. I 
And the reason I do this is because I don't want all the drips to be going one way, which is what happens when it turns and it's just going the one way. turn a bit. I'm probably going to have to buy some more ink soon. Here's a question for you guys. What is your favorite alcohol ink? You can link it in the comments or you can um, just comment which one is your favorite. So I've tried a few different ones and I don't know. I haven't found a favorite yet. So if you guys have a favorite that you like to use, do tell. Right now, I'm gonna think I'm gonna add a little bit of white. Add a little more blue where I don't have much color here. And of course, I'm on the end here where I'm not getting much color either. Sorry if I'm not getting all this on the camera here, trying to fiddle with this as I'm going. <laughs> And I do keep tipping it back and forth because I'm trying to make it look like water and I want all the inks to blend together so they look more like flowing water. You can also achieve this with a heat gun, actually. I don't have my heat gun here. I actually forgot about that. I will make sure I bring it next time, although it does make a bit of a racket. So I'm just going to add a little more where I don't have any color because I want this whole thing to be color. I don't want any big solid white spots on it. I want it to all have color. A little bit is fine, but I don't want like like right there. There's a white spot. I don't want that white spot there. I think I over dyed that, but whoops. 
And on the bottom here, I've got quite a bit of white, which I don't want. All right, so kind of drippy mess I made doing that. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna let this turn for a bit and then we'll come back and see what it looks like. But it's looking pretty pretty how much I want it. It might be a little darker than what I was aiming for, but that's all right. And we'll be back. All right, so I've been letting this spin for a while and I honestly don't think the camera's picking up how really how pretty this is. Sorry about that. Just thought I'd move it in a little more. And that got a little shakier than I thought it was going to. I'll probably edit that out anyways. So I'm going to add some interference powder now. And I've got some blue. And I'm just going to just sprinkle this on. Just a little bit. Not too much. I just want it to be kind of iridescent on top of this. You could leave it the way it is. It's actually quite pretty. But... I want it to be a bit sparkly or iridescent is a better word for it. And I think I'm going to add a little bit of the green, too. I'm not sure how green this is going to be. I don't think I've used this one yet. Nope, I haven't. It's a little sealed. Not mean to touch that. <laughs> Actually, the green is quite nice. It's very muted. I'm going to add a little more of the green, not too much. All right, that's going to be it. I'm going to let this turn. I will be back tomorrow to show you guys what it's going to look like. And then we're going to add our tattoo on top of it. Or you don't have to add your tattoo. Whatever you want to do. 
I'll be back tomorrow. So it's the next day, and here is the tumbler looking very watery and beautiful. I'm very happy with it. Looks great. So I'm going to pull this off the turner, and we're going to apply the tattoo. All right, so we've got our tattoo, which I think I'm going to put this way, and we've got our cup. And now we're going to place this onto the cup. Now we're going to have to trim this a little, I think, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. So I'm just going to trim the top of this a little. And then I'm going to likely have to trim the bottom a little. So I'm just going to measure that out so we're just gonna have to trim the bottom of this off a little bit all right so that should be good so i'm just gonna pick where we're gonna place this Right here. Right, and there's a protective layer on here. We're just going to peel that off. And then we're just going to place this right on here. And then you're going to wet it. Okay, and you're going to make sure you get all the air bubbles out, make this as smooth as possible. stuck all right and now we are going to go back over to the tumbler turner and we're going to put a coat of resin on this to seal in the cup all right so I've got the cup back on the turner and now I've just mixed up 20 mil of the epoxy resin and we're going to cover this again and uh, seal in the tattoo. Oops. And I'll be back when I'm done, and this is cured tomorrow. Here's our finished tumbler. And you can definitely see that koi tattoo on there. But I think I am going to do another version of this again until I get this quite right. But either way, if you don't put the tattoo on it, or if you do, it's an absolutely gorgeous tumbler. I'm very, very pleased with it. It's very beautiful the interference powder makes it very sparkly and shiny gives it a really nice look i'm not sure if the camera is picking out as beautiful it as it actually is but it really is pretty 
And then if you want to do the tattoo on it, you can. If not, you don't have to do that as well. I hope you've enjoyed my little fishy water tumbler alcohol ink interference powder tutorial. I put out at least one new video every week, so please do subscribe. It really does help. If you enjoy the content, please do leave me a thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching.